Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hello. This is my new series called Under the Blanket with Shay. Whoa. <laughs> That's what this is called? So you're my first, you're my first Am I guest. Really? Yeah, welcome. I had no idea welcome. until 42 seconds ago. I honestly came over here for some <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're you like, did. But That's surprise. What you're right now. <laughs> like do I need like the food You're good. Muffin? No powder. No, no. no. So here we are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We both had a week off. Yeah. Recently. Uh -huh. He needs more wine. Ian did bring wine though. He's oh, a very did I great bring guest. Wine? <laughs> He's a very yeah. great guest when he comes. Sure. I got a new guest. I will fill up your glass. So this is our third video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First one we did was Shay's Kitchen. That's right. Was when it? we made a glorious dish. Yeah, yeah. All the If you haven't seen that, that yet, you, you can check it out because mm -hmm. Ian did mix up a couple of the ingredients. I'll never live it down. My cousin actually came to me and she said, So cucumber, huh? Right. Because he was actually in this recipe supposed to get mm -hmm. zucchini. Yeah, yeah. But you know, cucumber, zucchini, they look very similar. And especially when you're getting hounded via text message by Shannon, uh, you were told off, like, you know, go get the, you should be Ingredients. here now. Yeah. And I, was I was rushing you a little bit. But we still made it. We made it. Turns out great. We did that video. And we also knocked out another one. We did the Mad Libs. We did Mad Libs, which was very funny. Mm -hmm. Ian is known on set for giving me scars. For being so oh, yeah, yeah. No, scars. Scars, yes. That's we, we do the thing where. Um... When we shoot a scene, let's mm -hmm. talk about that actually. Yeah, let's, let's give let's people the inside story here. Tell. When we shoot a scene, Ian likes to do a kind of a, a funny face, or not even a funny face, it's just kind of a regular face actually. Yeah, you no, just look at me sort of. Being and alive. It's, been alive. When he's alive on set and we have scenes together, it doesn't usually end up well because yeah, yeah. you make me laugh. I've discovered because you know that I'm going to go for you. Yeah. When I say this, I'm not comparing you to a dog. I'm saying it's kind of like the Pavlov's dog thing where after a while, if you know I'm going to do it, you start yeah. laughing without me I doing do. anything. It's going to come a time where like yeah. something tragic is happening. Yeah. Like, Shane, everything you yeah. like crying, you're like, oh, oh yeah, oh I bet everybody in your family's dead. Yeah, there's gonna be something really morbid like right, that. Right, right, right. And I'm gonna just like, And I'm gonna think you're laughing. joking because that's I'm how our relationship now. is. Yeah. Because we'll have these scenes and you know, for those of you that watch PLL, which should be mm -hmm. all of you, we have these very dramatic scenes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're supposed to be the mature one. I'm the student, or I was. Yeah, yeah, and in yeah. all these scenes I'll walk in and I'll literally not be able to stop laughing and so our crew is kind of getting upset after the 10th take of me mm -hmm. ruining it by laughing yeah. so what I do is I dig my nails into my hands and mm -hmm. I posted on Snapchat one time when people were kind of well actually they were very worried about me yeah, yeah, yeah. because I still have those scars there this actually may have been a combination of you and Tyler I like to call it the Ian Ty Ian Ty scars I remember I had an experience actually once when I was in high school I was joking around a lot like rehearsing for a play because um, you went to theater school for those of you who didn't school. know yep I went to uh, a, a, a Carnegie Mellon University, Drama mm -hmm. College, in, uh, or I guess it's a university with a bunch of different courses one could take, but I was in the drama school. And I remember joking around one day and not really taking it seriously. And the dance teacher at the time said more or less to me, um, you will never amount to anything. What? If, no, 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 hang on. Okay. If you, if you continue to not take the th one thing that you're good at seriously. Okay, your craft. Seriously, uh -huh. okay. Yeah. And and so the fact that she said that that might not come to fruition from my own actions of like not taking it seriously, of messing around and yeah. too much. Yeah. I definitely went, oh, right. Get I it just together. Take it serious. That's interesting. See, Feel I also shame, had yeah. that from a drama teacher. Actually, I wrote about this in my book, but um, I did have a similar situation to that. I was in this acting class in Vancouver. It was my first day. I was so excited. I was like, yes, I'm really gonna try this acting thing. You know, it's something I've taken interest in. So let's do this. So it was me in this class you know, first day, and we had to do these monologues, so I did it, whatever, sat back down. And the teacher there was just kind of like, that was good, it was good and everything, but um, why are you doing this? And I was like, what do you mean, what am, why am I doing what? He's like, this whole acting thing. I'm like, because I have a genuine interest in it. He was like, you know, you could just be sitting shock, shotgun in some guy's Ferrari in LA if you really wanted. You should just do that. And I was like, wow! I would also exactly. offer you a sip of my wine. Um, Why? I still have mine. Because when I walked in, I think I let a fly in, and now it's in your wine. Yeah, See, you I sure did. See, I ruined their house. Like, literally, I walk in, you I break sure things. sure did. I there bugsy. is a fly that is swimming in my wine. He is now really tipsy. Smoke. You're gonna drink it? 
Let's play a new game. This is called Will You Eat It? So come on. <laughs> Bringing it back to PLO. Because mm -hmm. this is our seventh season Whoa. of shooting the show. Mm -hmm. I want to know what your auditioning experience was. Mm. My audition process was, I think, you know, I was just having a conversation with Troyan about this a little while ago. We were both talking about how we realized just how insanely lucky we were. Oh gosh. We And we've always known that there's been luck. We always knew that we were very blessed to have this mm -hmm. job, but just she and I especially kind of got it out of ignorance. And in fact, she and I tested, not together in the same room because we didn't have the same scenes, but like they were testing Spencer's and they were testing the Ezra's. And she and I were there together. And wow. we started talking about like evolution or something. And we then started talking and I realized like I actually got the fact like wrong or something like that. And we started having that debate and then she went in. And I wonder if there's like any like weird fieriness that she has, that sort of academic prowess that the character has. Right, 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 right. That like then went Which in. Due to that. That. Which like, I, I, I say that making it sound like I like helped her get this part. That I mean, that's pretty, pretty much what you're saying. You're saying you helped Ryan get the Yeah, job. you're welcome, so. Ryan. Were you nervous? No, because. You were not nervous. Mind you, we're walking into a room where there are like, I don't know, what? 30 people there maybe? Yeah, yeah. 30 big, people. Big wigs. Big wigs. All like top studio and end the network. And that was a, Yeah. I had two sessions when I went in. I think we all did. Mm -hmm. so and it's nerve network. wracking. Yeah. I think it's, it's interesting because people will tend to, especially now as we're yeah. coming into the seventh season, a lot of people are like, so what are you going to do after the series? Are you nervous? Are you scared? Mm -hmm. And for me, this is the best part yeah, yeah, because yeah. anytime something amazing has happened in my life, yeah. it's been when I have been the most un vulnerable and in the most uncomfortable situation. Yeah, yeah. The so, shakiest. The shakiest, yeah. And I think that that is truly the moment when the fire is under your ass and you're like, it's go time. You mm -hmm. know, and we get comfortable. But mm -hmm. I, I, one of the things that I truly believe is that when you're comfortable, you don't grow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and so I think for all of us, the whole cast, the crew, everybody involved with PLL, I feel like it's going to be a really exciting new time, although very sad when it does yeah. come to an end, which I can't even talk about because I'm going to need Kleenex here and there's none. Yeah. Um, I just think that it's been a really amazing experience. Okay, so by the way, I also didn't let you know that this is a two-parter. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. So uh, this is the first part. You've now expired the first session, first part of Ian and my's conversation under the blanket with Shay. Mm -hmm. So there will be a part two with a lot more mm, questions and interesting Besides. answers and you know more fun topics to discuss mm -hmm. with this one uh, next week. So stay tuned. But this was part one. <laughs> <laughs>